This year marks 75 years since the great victory in Europe. The Road to Berlin game event introduced in World of Tanks commemorates this important occasion. It starts May 4th and will last two weeks. Join other players in storming the last enemy stronghold. There are five operation stages to be completed. As you complete them, you'll fight against AI-driven enemy vehicles. For your achievements, you'll get different rewards. The IS-2 Shielded Tier 7 Premium Tank, Bounty Equipment, Awards, Badges. Check out the new garage, which will be changed significantly for this momentous occasion. Feel the atmosphere of spring 1945 from your very first step in the game. Then go to the event garage. Five units with unique combat boosts will join in the offensive. The Beast Slayers, consisting of powerful tank destroyers that have good penetration and pack a major punch. The Ironsides, heavy tanks that have a sufficient amount of hit points and deal high damage. The Wing Spearhead, a unit of medium tanks with good mobility and accuracy. First Tank Battalion, these vehicles feature excellent mobility and a great rate of fire while also being good at maneuvering and flanking. And lastly, the 48th Breakthrough Regiment which has heavy tanks with reliable armor and a good rate of fire. Choose any unit. Every vehicle has infinite ammunition. Their commanders have the Sixth Sense perk trained to 100%. By fighting in battles, units progress from level 1 to level 3. The unit level determines the available vehicles and the power of their combat boosts. For example, at first, the Ironsides consist only of IS-1 tanks that have the Mortar Strike and Minefield Combat Boosts. At Level 3, the unit has IS-2V tanks, which are more advanced and powerful. Their combat boosts deal much more damage than those of the IS-1. Five players take part in a battle. You can fight as a part of a platoon or together with random allies. Random players will also join your team if the platoon has fewer than five members. At the beginning of the battle, you'll be assigned a battle mission. Its location will be highlighted on the mini-map. In the battle, advance through the map, destroy enemy positions and repel counterattacks. Their directions will also be displayed on the mini-map. The battlefield area will be limited by an enemy artillery strike zone. If you move to this zone, your vehicle will be destroyed after a few seconds. Initially, each player has three vehicles. You can receive two additional vehicles for completing battle missions. For example, for repelling a counterattack. If you run out of respawns, don't leave the battle. You will still be able to return to the battlefield if your allies complete specific battle missions. To complete an operation stage, you need to fulfill two conditions. Destroy a certain number of enemy vehicles. Meet the time limit. At the end of the battle, a decisive encounter against elite vehicles takes place. To win the battle, you need to complete all battle missions. In battle, you'll face German vehicles of different types, excluding light tanks. The higher the unit level, the stronger the enemies. So make sure to coordinate your actions with your team. Don't engage enemies head on. Distract heavily armored vehicles and immobilize them with the heavy tanks of the Ironsides or the 48th Breakthrough Regiment. Then use fast vehicles to flank your enemies. This strategy proves successful in most cases. Also, always be on the lookout. Enemy artillery can hit you even when you're behind the cover. You'll need to find a balance between aggressive and cautious approaches to secure victory. If you're running out of time, do your best to finish off any remaining enemies. 
If you still have enough time and the enemy has a few vehicles left, make sure to stay safe and don't waste your hit points. Use your combat boosts and special shells. Incendiary shells are the most effective against powerful tanks with a lot of hit points and dangerous guns. Make sure to destroy them quickly and with as few shots as possible. Use terrain irregularities to find good windows to fire. Or you can take a risk by sending swift tanks in a charge against enemy artillery. By destroying it, you'll keep your team safe and sound. Don't let any enemy vehicles escape the battlefield. Otherwise, you'll have to face them during the next stage of the battle, along with the next wave of enemies. Enemy vehicles will be much more difficult to penetrate from the front than from the rear. Battles will be fought on the updated maps of Oder, Kvelberg, and Westwall. The decisive battle will take place on the new Berlin map. It will become available to players on May 8th. There will be a 30% chance of entering a battle on this map. Berlin will only be available for level 3 units. After each battle, you'll receive victory points. The amount depends on your battle performance and unit achievements. They are used to reach new unit levels and operation stages. You'll earn twice as many victory points when fighting on the Berlin map compared to the other maps. In addition to this, once a day, you'll receive an order. It applies for one battle and provides five times more victory points for the battle. Want to progress faster? Then fight in random battles, complete missions, and earn tokens. These can be exchanged for orders that grant a times 15 multiplier to victory points earned. Also, you can purchase orders that provide a times 10 multiplier to victory points earned. A great challenge lies ahead, but the reward is worth it. For completing an operation stage, you'll get a 25% discount on purchasing the IS-2 Shielded. After completing four operation stages, you can get this premium tank free of charge. It features counter heat protection, allowing it to better withstand enemy hits. Its unique exterior will distinguish this vehicle on the battlefield. Complete all five operation stages to earn bounty ventilation. After the equipment is upgraded, it improves the major qualifications of all crew members by 7.5%. Ride on the road to Berlin from beginning to end together with World of Tanks.